Okay, so this is a demonstration of downloading the information from the Sonal MIC30 into the Sonal Reader running on a Windows 10 computer. Start up the Sonal Reader and to turn, so I'm already set up to be in memory function on the MIC30. To turn on Bluetooth mode, I hold down the select button uh, until I get the initial screen and then to turn it on I hit the enter button and that's now in Bluetooth mode. I select read from tester on the software. Um, I can search for everything but it's a bit quicker to go down and actually select the instrument you've got. I can search for that and hopefully it will find it. it takes it a little while. There it is. And then once I've highlighted that instrument, I get the option to read it or configure the readout. Uh, read the data automatically and it should download it. So we've got a number of installation tests and some continuity tests there as well. 27 memory functions filled overall. And that's how long it takes to download. You get the, get the option to save the file. So what do I call this? So once the data has been downloaded, you've got two tabs here. One is the continuity, one is the installation test. You can see the three continuity tests I've done are all there. You can change to the installation test and there you see all the installation tests that I've carried out that have been saved and all the various lumps of data that have come down with it. And then the other option I have is to go back to main and I can print these results as they are, save them as a text file or save them as an Excel file. Um, in order for the Excel function to work, you appear to have to have a full version of Microsoft Excel installed. I get errors when I try this on a computer that doesn't have the full version of Excel installed, uh, but we can export them. And as quick as that, I know that I should now hopefully be able to go back and find that one. And we open up Excel. And there you see pretty much exactly the same as all the data that's in the Sonal Reader. The only difference obviously being now is I can now manipulate this data um, to display what I want. You can see it's actually transferred to Excel quite well. You've got the mega ohm symbol in there, microamps. That's quite a thorough conversion really, quite nice. Compared to some of the other instruments that you'll get uh, funny digits in place of the symbols, whereas this one appears to be working quite well.